Hey YouTubers and followers of Edison Mobile Estates. We are here on day two. Yesterday we um, had shown you all the footings that were set up in here. So yesterday we poured those footings and today we poured all the concrete. Um, so the slab is now complete. This will set up and our next uh, process is in the back there. We're relocating that electric and pole um, behind the house that's next to it. And then we'll be forming up for the patio just like this one over here. And once we get the patio all formed up, then we can wait for the house to arrive, set it on the site, and off we go. So tell me more of the specifics with regards to this foundation. So this foundation has some uh, footings in it. They're 36 inches deep, and then around the whole perimeter of this of this particular foundation is a uh, concrete slab which is 12 inches thick on the sides and all the way around, and that's going to be a foot and a half wide, and then the rest of the concrete is six inches thick. Right. So the design is that the home concrete piers fit. Uh, right on these footings and then we do all our utilities and off we go. Alright, so let's take a look around the side. Can't step on it yet. Hopefully no kitty cats. Trapeze across here. We've got the wooden um, boards along the side holding it. That's the form. And the steel rebar holds it in place till it's... How long does it take till it's... Uh, so concrete set. cures in 27 days, but it sets for us about a day, day and a half. So we'll be back probably in two days to remove all the slab, all the uh, forms and pins. And then we will finish off this area here in between this patio and here with all the stone. And then uh, we usually let this set, like I said, about two, three days before we take off the forms and start the next section. And that section over there will be a little step down? It'll be a little step down. Just like this. A little step. Okay. And then from this angle, and this black cover is the sewer? This is the water. Oh, water. Sewer and electric conduit. Oh, all three are sticking out. Okay. And then this will be stone. And we'll probably make a ramp and have the house come in which side? Over there? I guess, right? It's usually... Yeah, it'll be back into the lot. And then over here looks like a big project to move all this. Wow. Yeah, over here we're going to be relocating this utility pole which feeds that panel. That'll be back in this area here. Um, this plastic little container holds the water line to this house. We're going to remove all that, dig the water under the house, the sewer under the house, so that this is all accessible for this resident. Uh, these steps will be replaced with a small set of um, steps for this particular tenant because his door is on the opposite side of each. So the, uh, typically we build them with two doors on the same side for privacy, but in days gone by they used to put a house a door on either side of the house yeah so this house here which is green is probably about 30 35 years old mm -hmm. and the way they would build them is one door on each side of the house okay all right and there you know that's uh, a big job there with the wow look at all that electric all right stay tuned every day we let you know what's the next house we're building Check out our website, My Home in Edison, and check out our email, info at dolanhelms.com, and we'll start the intake process. First receive our informational email, then receive the 15 pre-qualifying questions, and then you'll receive the mail-in instructions for sending in your resident application, because right now we're dealing with the quarantine and we're able to help people move along with the process by allowing for mailing in. Typically we meet people in person, but at this point we are adjusting to help people move in. And then after you mail it in, you either get approved if you meet all the minimum requirements. So take a look at our rental policy. Um, 
our rental criteria. It's listed on our website, in our email, in the resident application. And then after that, um, fill out a purchase agreement for the house and sign the lease. So this is a land lease community with a lot fee that includes water, sewer, and uh, maintenance of the common uh, streets, like a little town. All right, thank you so much, stay tuned.